That was weird. Stupid stream. Why are you dropping your connection? <sighs> okay, what is my hair doing? Stop hair. Stop. Nope, that was... That was OBS. It seems to have dropped a connection. Oh god, ow, my hair. Help, 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 help. Um, but... Oh my god, it's not loading video. Load the damn video. Come on. Is I don't even know if you're seeing this. That's annoying. Come on. Show me the video. That's incredibly annoying. Hmm. Of course, that could be Twitch that's doing it. Let's try F5. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, I'm assuming that you can see that. Anyway, um, sorry about that. My dad was calling and having more issues with our art stuff and he's trying to give me some advice on that. I get very irritated when things are wrong. <laughs> I see. Well, you should get ready for tomorrow then, Skeleton. And okay, we'll see you in a minute, Manic. Let's see now, what am I doing now that I can actually focus on this? I didn't expect to be on the phone that long. As you've seen in previous phone encounters, I don't like being on the phone. So, let's see. Purifier Action Girl. An additional 15 action points to use in VATS. Better criticals. Gain a 50% damage bonus every time a critical hit is scored on an opponent. Uh. Tag perk allows you to select a fourth skill to be a tag skill, which instantly raises it by 15 points. Hmm. Okay, interesting. What should I do? Hmm. Itch, itch, itch. Boop. <laughs> Slaps chicken with feather. What? Did I do the one you said about? Um, which one had you mentioned? Had you successes? Suggested? Forget what I got last time. Hmm. Uh, the one that gives you another point to any special. I think that's further up, but some some of the other people were saying that it's not very useful or something. There's this, I guess. Allows you to select a fourth skill to be a tag skill. I'm not sure what they mean by a fourth skill to be a tag skill. What what are they referring to by tag by skill, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Don't try to breathe when you take a drink. It doesn't work very well. <clears throat> Get implants in this one for higher special points. Ah, interesting. Ag. 
Well, I don't entirely understand what it does, but we'll go with that. What? That oh, requires, okay. Ah. Uh. I could do that one too. No, I said don't do that. Terrible idea. Oh, I see. Oh, huh, okay. Um, should I do repair? I can up that pretty quick. Maybe medicine? <laughs> I see, I see. Well, that's cool. Hmm. So I have guns, science, and sneak. Medicine? Okay. Do that. There we go. Cool stuff. Oh, and I'm still walking. Okay. Yep. Why does OBS say cannot find window? What do you mean cannot find window? Hmm. Whatever, OBS. Uh, my poor little portal turret keeps getting knocked over. Is this who I'm supposed to talk to? Nope. I don't know who that is. <laughs> eh. Who knows? Ah. Isn't it just so fun when my stream does weird things and I don't know how to fix it? Surely. Oh. So I need to talk to these people? Between you and me, I don't think she studied at an accredited institution. Between Okay, Between so it's not me, you. No. Actually it's none of you. You're just in the way. That's why. Okay then. So whoever it is, it's on the other side of the building, or in the building? How long is this building? Lord. Okay. So... Should be in here. Um, I would say, yeah, I agree with Manic. Leave an hour, an hour early. Yeah, that sucks. Maybe get some coffee on the way. What is this? That's weird. Well, I don't know if getting there late says something about you, because I'm not... I rarely get someplace on time, but... At least for the interview, you should be there on, on time. Hello, Leo. Welcome back. And we're alright. Having more fun in the Fallout universe. Ooh. 
Let's see. I don't know where the person is I'm supposed to talk to. Wait. Is this them? Are you the person? Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Hmm. <laughs> 40 miles. That's... Uh, see, I have no concept of what 40 miles means. I'm used to measuring distance by how long it takes to get from here to the destination. So 40 miles, you're like, oh, there could be 5 minutes, 15, I have no idea. Vertebird pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. That is very true, Manic. I agree with that. Uh, that... I still don't know what that means. Driving directly, rather. Is two hours could be, like, down the street, depending on how winding you're doing. <laughs> I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Four? No, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Watch your six out there. Uh, I guess you're not who I'm supposed to talk to. 40 minutes, okay. That I can understand. I drew a uh, 30 to 45 minute drive quite often. <laughs> Oops, I did not do that. I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to. Ah. Should be someone around here. Eh, I hate driving. I have to, but if I can get out of it, I can bet I will. Hey, you came back. Must be doing something right. But I'm still not going to buy a T-Rex, I'm sorry. I don't need to talk to that guy. I don't know who to talk to. Wah. Well, I wish you good luck on your driving test. You've been studying and practicing. It should be good. Uh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the ass edge of England. That's funny. And... So it should be someone right here. Right in here. <laughs> yep, I don't know about uh, driving tests in England. That's not good. See, I'm not very good at parking either, as far as like judging alignment I guess however my trick to knowing how far forward to pull to pull up I practiced a few times and I got the spacing for like looking at my side view mirror where the bottom of that lines up with the curb in front of me like I visually should see a certain amount of distance and that's when I know that I, that's the spot that I need to stop in it's in a perfect depth. So that's my little cheating tip. 
unless, of course, there's some reason that you could not do that with cars in England, even though I don't see why that would change anything. Uh, yep, there you go. Good. I'm not the only one that does that. Cool to know. <laughs> Here is Bones' home? Oh, Boone's home. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a very good idea. Ah. Yeah, see, I never trust myself for spacing between the parking lines, so I always end up backing out and realigning myself. My friends like to poke fun at me for it, but you know what? I don't give a shit. So, I want my car aligned directly in the spot. I don't want to park like a douchebag. So, I'm going to fix it. Ugh, I hate parallel parking. Sucks. I have no idea who I'm supposed to talk to. What about you? Do I need to talk to you? So I hear the honcho of one of them strip families up and disappeared. Poof. Yeah. They'll find his body someday. If you're planning on staying a while, the Dino Delight's got plenty of room. Okay. Not that person. Are you the person I'm supposed to talk to? Careful. They got spies all over. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. He asked you what color the reverse lights are? I looked in the rooms, and it didn't seem like anybody was there. Unless it's that weird glowing mushroom in the bathtub. Confound it, no more. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. Now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every hmm. night one of their hoods gets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they Oh, really? Mind. Because now they see the predicament we're in. Okay. I come face to face with the Chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest Chupacabra you could imagine. That's the strange question. Kind of a trick question. Best I could tell, anyways, since when he come up to me, he was invisible. What? Made himself a blunderbuss. What would rotate mm, and shoot maybe. real fast out of a backpack. Never seen oh, nothing. Sigh. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Is that so? Okay. 
Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey, cooked up by superstitious yokels seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Okay. Ghosts. Kami ghosts. What? Don't know the dead. <laughs> Kami ghosts. Rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I seen one of them disappear and <laughs> nice. very eyes. Although being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a Kami ghost and so forth. Okay. Wow, that's that's cool. Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is got bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. I know what I seen. Okay. I guess you're not the person you talk to happens, either. We never spoke. Of course. Most certainly. Um, uh, I guess I'll go back inside. <laughs> so is it the Cold War because they're all dead? So should I just sit here and wait for someone to come in? Are they in here? Nope, but there's some scotch. Oh man. Okay, see this... This is the only thing in here. And surely this is not what I need to talk to. Just slowly... Oh god, it's so gross. Steel pencil. No. Vodka. Atomic cocktail. Okay. This person likes to drink, apparently. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I know there's some changes between the Fallout universe and the actual our universe, Looks but like the uh, is ratcheting up. I hear the NCR is bringing in the Oh god, yawn. <sighs> Stop yawning. I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to. You know what? Fuck these people. I'm gonna go find somebody else. Is there no one else to find? Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I have not discovered this place yet. Seriously? Yes. Eh, it's okay. We'll figure it out at some point. All mine. Okay, Boone. <laughs> it's okay. Let's see. Uh, talent pool. Find entertainers for the tops. The remaining. Talk to Tommy Torini at the tops. Well, I found a guitarist guy. 
I gave him a card, but that's been it so far. Yeah, him. I gave him a card. Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. <laughs> From my cold, dead hands. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them open. <laughs> you dig? Now that we got that little business. Uh. Okay. Have a good time, baby. This new act is out of sight, baby. We're bringing in the caps like a new Coca Cola bottling plant. Cowboy act? Yeah. Dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Three percent of the cut comes to a hundred caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. Strip fame gained. Fantastic. You know it, baby. <laughs> I know, right? Take it easy, baby. Uh, accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. I bet. I hate the way they talk. Super annoying. Did you find be my yet little weasel? What? Yes? I guess. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Now who? Jump. Jump. Ah, yes. Even room service has an enlisted number. What? Be advised. Visitors will be held responsible for the behavior of any robots. Nobody's just the heads. I've been in love with the same woman. Come on, Rex. <laughs> derp. Herp derp. Okay. Okay. Someone over there? Nope. Okay. So, it's. I know, right? Could be both. Hmm. Why would someone think it's a good idea to attack someone with a pool cue? I don't understand. If it can be bought, it can be founded, Mick and Ralph's. 
Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Stupid child. <laughs> yep, lots of jumping. Jump, jump, jump. And hello, Noli. Welcome back. Pull Q is stronger than a shotgun. I I don't know about that. Could be. Very well, could be. Is somebody back here? Hey, nope. you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. So how have you been lately, Noli? You've been pretty quiet for a while now. Ugh, what? I don't understand. What? There's a thing that I'm missing. Hmm. M? You think? Oh, I guess that could be. Makes sense. Hello there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'd imagine you weren't. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all uh, your needs. Stupid kid, shut up. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Shut up. <laughs> nope. Arrow's not pointing to him. Why, Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? Huh, okay. You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. Can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. Was there anything else you wanted? Mm. All right. I'll see you later. That's not him. Mr. House's family's recently. Whoever did it is either crazy or has balls the size of Freeside. Or none at all is the case, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine so. But who? Who am I supposed to be talking to? <sighs> Q. This arrow just doesn't seem to lead to anywhere. Jump. Jump. Okay. There's no one over there. It's that guy, but it's not pointing to him. Hmm. I could. <laughs> Probably should, I guess. Alright, I'll switch to something else, I guess. Mmm. Investigate the midnight showing. Ah, uh, that's that's the other stuff. Track down the source. No, still in the dark. Oh no, that's the that's Brotherhood of Steel. We're staying away from that one. Uh. 
Let's try that, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Come back. World map. Rim. Avi outpost. Fast travel there. Kind of one ice cream sandwich. Those are downstairs in the free. Q. I do have ice cream sandwiches with mint chocolate chip ice cream. It's quite delicious. California sunset drive-in. <laughs> well, if I could send it to you, I would. But uh, I have a feeling it would probably melt before it got to you. What? You don't like ice cream sandwiches. Or do you not like mint chocolate chip ice cream? Either way, what's wrong with you, Skeleton? <laughs> Might as well, right? We do have other another ice cream too. That's a uh, you have to scoop it out. But I don't want to deal with a bowl right now. Oh, it's always warm here. <laughs> You hate both ice cream sandwiches. Do you just not like ice cream in general? Are you lactose intolerant? Because that would be understandable in that case. Or, you know. Ah. Yep, yep. <laughs> hmm, pistachio is the best. Well, I feel that Rex would highly disagree with that, but uh, I've never actually tried pistachio myself. Vanilla? Okay, home homemade vanilla is really good, but just regular vanilla? Uh, that's so boring. And sorbet is a strange texture to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Because apparently at one time he, uh, hockey tosses bay. Uh, it, it is pretty good, I will admit that. Uh, he apparently worked at an ice cream store at some point in time, and... He and everyone else that worked there apparently agreed that pistachio was the worst. And he will still bash pistachio. So, yeah. <laughs> Yay, ice cream. What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install the a best dessert and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Vanilla pudding, crushed up Oreos, and Coolips right on top. Hmm. That sounds interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Pistachio is the best ever. I, I don't know, man. I haven't tried it. I can't weigh in on that. Have you gotten us any additional support yet? 
Night. He's <sighs> on the body outpost. You're gonna make this difficult, aren't you? Fine. Ma'am. Whatever. Hey. <laughs> now I do like um, doing like chocolate pudding pies. It's like get like a graham cracker crust and do chocolate pudding in it. Maybe like Cool Whip on top or something. That's good. Quite delicious. Um, so that would be cookies and cream, I believe, that you're talking about, Skeleday. And cookies and cream is quite good. If you say so, Manic. I guess so someday I will have to try it and find out for sure. <laughs> I don't know if I have the means to do that. I might. I don't know. Meh. Whatever. Meh. Rita's Cafe. Really? Fists? Really? Items? Weapons? Hmm. I don't know. Rex is a pretty good follower, though. Hey, look, it's a tumbleweed. Hi, tumbleweed. I think it's hilarious that they actually included those. Tumble, 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 tumble. I'm back here. Oh, ha, ha. Okay, let's go. You'll make the uh, pudding thing for me? Okay. Or if we do ever have a stream gathering and with a picnic, then you can bring it then too. Cup of tea? Now is that hot tea? Is that herbal tea? What kind of tea are we talking about? Alright, he's dead. Good job, Rex. Bottle caps. Thank you. I like how I get XP for doing nothing. It's pretty great. <laughs> I'm sorry, Skeleday. <laughs> There's only so much that I can do. <laughs> green tea. That's good. Now, is it just straight green tea, or is it like a special kind of green tea? They've had like chai green tea. That was pretty good. Ugh, it's blisters on the bomba's feet. Whee! Bobby pin and a hammer. I don't need a hammer. Where's that other one? Here. Cool, cool. <laughs> Well, supposedly, green tea is supposed to be good for your metabolism, so... There's that, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. I, I think it'd be cool to meet all of you, too. <laughs> That, uh, is technically true. That, yeah. There are many people who watch my stream that I don't know what they look like. In fact, I would be quite startled if someone came up to me like, Oh, you're Locke! Hey, how are you? I'm just like, do I know you? It's bad enough already because I'm really bad with names and faces. But then, for someone to be calling me by Locke, obviously knowing me from my stream... I would be very confused. Dan's game? What? Who's Dan? <laughs> Eat this. 
Well, admittedly, the picnic baskets might give it away. <laughs> but there would still be some initial shock. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be pretty insane for me. Like, oh god, people recognize me. <laughs> It, uh, could be possible, yeah. Ah. It's okay, Manic. You didn't miss much. Pretty much just talking about how insane it would be if we all met up. <laughs> and if people suddenly recognized me and called me Locke, and obviously knowing me from the stream, and I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Well, maybe someday. Like, TwitchCon or something. Next year. There's no way I could go this year. <laughs> Your real name is Manic? That would be... quite interesting, if that were indeed the case. Jump. Oh. Well, thank you, Skeleday. That's very sweet of you. Thank you for the donation. For all to lulf. Aw. I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> Your nine is that? You're not who I need to talk to. No, wait, no, you are who I need to talk to. Been doing a lot of good work out there, setting an example <laughs> for the others. I know Ranger Jackson appreciates. That's why you have the Twitch name. Oh. Prim, these units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCR. Okay. Convicts. Have a good night. Thanks for joining, and thank you again for the tip. That. Or donation, however you want to term it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. <laughs> I'd like to help. We can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Mm-hmm. Which we should be doing uh, testing again on the card game, so you'll get to see that again. Yay! Mm -hmm. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some additional support. Okay. Ma'am. Now what do I do? Alright. That's fine, Manic. We'll see you next time, too. Not like I'm going anywhere. Ah, uh, let's see. Data, here we go. Quests. Speak to Hayes about NCR protection for Prim. Uh, what times do you stream, Manic? Because that'll probably primarily dictate when I'll be able to join. If it's the weekend, I I tend to forget. This cryptic keeps wanting me to watch his stream, too. And I end up doing things on the weekends.
Oh, I just had a thought. Mm -hmm. My Thursday stream might actually have to be earlier than normal. Hmm. My dad was talking about hanging out Thursday afternoon and a uh, monthly game dev meetup is Thursday night. I'm gonna have to move that to the morning. Crap. I have to wake up early. <laughs> 7 to 11. I. What does 7 to 11 mean? <laughs> What what time zone are we talking about? <laughs> that uh, UTC or like standard or whatever universal? Probably won't start until later tonight. Okay. Well, if it's later tonight, then I can probably catch it. But well, I guess you're probably talking Eastern time then. Okay, that that would make sense because you're in Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, I should be able to watch that. I'm a yeah East Coast. Okay. All right. Yeah, I should be able to do that. That would be. Yeah. Can I write that down somewhere so I don't forget? Tab. Pause over here. I should also make a note to watch Cryptic Stream at some point, because I keep forgetting and he keeps asking. Let's see. Alright, I have made a note of it, so I will remember. There we go. And I'll make a note if I have to, uh, well, I'm gonna have to. I will make a note that I will be moving my Thursday stream to an earlier time. For this particular Thursday. It's talking. Oh, where'd you come from? Kind of town... Yes, okay. Oop. map. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's probably easier on this side. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I was saying I made a note to remember to watch your stream tonight, as well as Cryptics, which is over on weekends, because I keep forgetting about his, too. Um... My Thursday stream, it occurred to me, I'm going to have to do earlier, so in the morning instead of my normal time, because my dad was talking about hanging out Thursday afternoon, and then a monthly game dev meetup is Thursday night, so I'll have to push it earlier. Yeah, and might as well, right? <laughs> See what you're up to on your stream. Wahaha. <laughs> Jump, jump, jump. Ah, around the corner. Hmm. I should probably. Hmm. I should probably have a uh, offline image that talks about Thursday too, so people will see that. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. They sure love saying that line. Yeah. Oh, cool. That should be fun. Uh, one of my friends has been playing that. When we go over to do testing, he's playing it, like, collecting all the things. Oh, how interesting. I also play lots of horror games. Apparently. What horror games have you been playing lately? Yeah, I just got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. 
Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff and the Rangers will be his deputies. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR mm -hmm. citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Sure. Roger. I'll radio them over now. 400 XP. Oh, man. I wish I had the first recon guy <laughs> after me. Oh. I end up dedicating so many hours throughout the week to playing games. It's pretty much the only time I play games is actually when I'm streaming. However, I will play Skyrim late at night if I feel like it, but yeah. Ah, but I guess, like, it's mostly because I get so caught up in the story, but I don't want to make any progress on a game without everyone, you know, all the viewers seeing, seeing it too, because that's part of the fun. Like, well, if I blow through every game I have all at the same time, that's, that's not going to work out very well. Oh, I need a new quest. <laughs> nice. Um, so I've done the first two Silent Hills, yeah. So I need... Have I done the third one? Crap, I don't remember. I haven't done the third one, then I need to do that. I've suddenly lost count of my Silent Hills. I'll be returning to that at some point. Assuming it can run an emulator. Hmm. How is Resident Evil? Get quest. Let's use your bug and access point. Rescue the captives. Let's see. World map. Yes. Ah, okay. I have not played the third one then. Eat this. Oh god. No. Well, you know what? Never mind. Just just do that. It's fine. It's cool. Good job, Rex. Well, I'm just going to take his stuff. Uh, sure, no. Machete, maze, white horse nettle. Hmm. hmm, cool, cool. That's one of the many things on my to-do list. Caesar's Legion and Infamy gained. Shunned. You've left a poor impression on the community and may be shunned as a result. Caesar's Legion. Get him, Rex. All right. it's over. He'll be back. Okay. Off he goes. They got what they had coming. Well, we were the ones to deliver it. Good job. Alright, have I taken your stuff? Yes. Exit. Yes, yes. Fire axe. Hmm. Powder, denarius, purified water, seven throwing spears. Why? And over and covered. How fun. The items, weapons. Caravan shotgun. Okay. 
find machete. Boop. <laughs> All right, got that fixed. Ant meat. That's terrifying. Mole rat pup. Okay. To engage round. Frag mine. Ancient Daenerys. Mace. Pinion nuts. Single shotgun. Okay. Bah. Over and covered. Come here. Fine by me. Good, good. Weapons, weapons. Hmm. <laughs> You're fine. It's okay. Ting rifle, let's give you that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't have it, and I won't be getting any time soon, because, you know, reasons. But, uh, yeah, it definitely looks fun. Uh, yes, exit. Good, good. So I guess I can raid their stuff. Healing powder, Daenerys. You've lost karma. But they're dead. They're all dead. Does it really matter? <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. It. Hmm. Nope. High times. Yes, I could do that. Hmm. Veruca cream from a man with no feet. What is Veruca cream? Kind of afraid to ask, too, actually. <laughs> yes, it is quite quiet. Hmm. Ah. There we go. When enemies are nearby, who's nearby? They're all dead. sharpening. Got some staked heads. Yeah, they're all dead. I mean, what does it matter? Crunchy mud fruit. Fresh pear. 
Pulse grenade, water. Ah, uh, sorry me. And hello. Oh look, anti-venom. Throwing spear, zoomed root. Hmm. Well, OBS did drop the connection earlier, but it's fine right now. Maybe it's another Twitch problem. <sighs> Why are we having so many problems? Oops. Items. Healing powder, shot glass, camera, healing powder. Ah, yeah, internet is definitely an issue. Can be. Ah, yep, internet issues will definitely cause problems, that's for sure. Ooh, a shooting. Why? We have Horizon 2, but we have Fios, so... Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> yep, I can understand that. Like, oh, look at this thing. Oh, look at this thing. I need everything in your bag. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Point six. What? How? How can you even internet with something so slow? I don't even understand. <laughs> That is impressively bad. I feel very sorry for you. <laughs> uh. Yes. Just in case there's a backed up sink, you never know. I don't think you can. How are you able to? 
all of the things. Hmm. Okay. We shall see what the speed test says. Jump. God, Rex just cause just comes flying over. Yep. All the fun things to see. And today we're going to a new location. All the way out somewhere. Who's that? Yep, she was in the window earlier. Oh, she's under my uh, vanity over there. That's still really slow. <laughs> At least, no, that's still really slow. So, is the person dead? Yep, they're dead. They went against a red scorpion with a knife. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Plan. <laughs> so speedy. Eat this. Yep. Whee! Whoops. See, I feel like just watching me stream must be really boring. It's like, I watch myself and it's like, wow, I'm as monotone as mod for My Little Pony. Just, I don't know. I don't find myself very, amu very amusing, but apparently you do, so I guess that's all that matters, but still. I feel like watching my stream should be really boring. <laughs> Internet issues. So fun. Hmm. I would like to, but I don't have the money for it. I'm horribly in debt. <clears throat> fun stuff. El Dorado substation. Alright. If some money miracle happens, then I be all for going to TwitchCon, but for the time being, the plan is no. Maybe next year. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm I'm glad you enjoy my stream and like my personality. <laughs> Certainly makes it better for me. <laughs> Needs more plungers. I'll I'll try and work on that. I haven't come across any, at least that I recall. Oh, why am I yawning? Stop yawning. Also, welcome back, Eternal Hunger. And how have you been? Hee. More radiated water. Now where are we? Hmm. <laughs> that is true. Burning things is very fun. I will not deny it. 
Oh, God. Yep. We'll see. Like, I've kind of been thinking about that. If I do find a job somewhere, it's going to have to be full time, so I guess I'd have to push my stream back to. the control room and enclosure, or there's going to be trouble. Got it? Uh, where did you come from? Uh huh. Anyway. I'd probably have to push my stream back to later in the day, but I would still want to keep streaming, though, like I do now. <laughs> Wonderful morning of doing nothing. I know that feeling. I like those mornings. <laughs> yep, but he's not doing a very good job. I'm better at it than he is. <laughs> Speaking of goat, um, I was reading a thread on Reddit that this morning or yesterday, I don't remember. And uh, it was like, the topic was something like, what theory do you have with no evidence to actually back it up. Like, that's essentially what it was. It was worded differently. And this one person apparently believes that his neighbor can transform into a goat. No roasting or burning things? Why? Would bad things happen? Would everything ignite? That'd be fun. I'm best mountain goat, thank you. <laughs> Anywho, so, um, probably, yeah. But apparently, in the entire time that he's lived at this place, he's only seen that particular neighbor once, really late at night or something, just standing in his yard doing nothing. And then three years later, really late at night, standing in the exact same place that he saw that neighbor, was a goat. And apparently no one believes him that there was a goat in their neighborhood. Anyway. I thought it was pretty funny. It's like, well, that's... That is a pretty interesting theory. <laughs> Will not deny. Yes, me. Are there death claws this way? Um, admittedly, I have not tried, so I guess I can't say for sure that I can't. But, uh,. Just assuming I don't believe I should. <laughs> That's very possible. And Goat Simulator looks hilariously amazing. Someday I would like to actually play it. Well, transforming into a tiger is pretty awesome, Noli. So, you know. Maybe a bit cooler than turning into farm animals. Er, can't get on top. Ah, uh, fine. Turn into a cow on several occasions? Hmm. And what need did you have to turn into a cow? You need to slap box with death claws. Slap box? Like, is that like kickboxing, but slapping? But, what? Am I gonna get fall damage? Hello, Rex. How are you doing? All the way down there. Ah! Okay, no fall damage. Whew. 
Okay. I'm actually picturing that now. Having slap fights with the death with the death claws. <laughs> I see. Well, that sounds highly entertaining. Perhaps deadly, but highly entertaining. He is right here. For once I actually know where he is. And apparently Rex is dipping all around down there. Hello, Rex. Welcome back. Oh, well, that's horrible. Poor Noli. Don't want to be put in a zoo. <laughs> no, I just keep forgetting where I leave him. <laughs> or he goes off chasing after something and never comes back or gets stuck on something and then I lose him again that way. It really depends. Hey, 30 bottle caps. Crimson Caravan Guard. Take that. Lever Action Shotgun. Other armor. No. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy to see that. It's probably going to take me a while to get through this game, so <laughs> you should be good for a while. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't want to drain one. Crap. Oh well. Stone pack. Plasma rifle. Yes. Combat armor. Is that better than mine? It's 15. Yep, that is better than mine. Okay. Taking your clothes, man. Sorry. Okay. We'll take that. Oh, it's one or the other, really. That's dumb. I wanted to have it over my combat armor. Alright, thanks for hanging out, Manic. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Party hat. <laughs> Canyon rock? Why is that? Reaction shotgun, plasma rifle. Okay. Come here, Boone. I need you to hold some stuff. Fine by me. Hold that. Probably hold that. That one. Arrow. I'm gonna hold that. Okay, should be good. It's fine, me. It, uh... It was interesting to play, but, I mean, I... I think I enjoy this a bit more, but, uh... I don't know. That's why I have a uh, Fan Request Friday, so everyone gets a taste of what they want with horror games and whatever I want mixed in, <laughs> so it's fine. You miss a stream because you aren't interested in the game, I understand. Hmm. Well, I'm playing on PC, so hopefully it won't do that, but I guess we'll see. Um, should be good now. Alright. Now, there's another person over here. Bottle caps. This and that and that. Combat armor. Big thing. Okay. Exit. Come here. 
I need you to hold more stuff. Wait, are you are you wearing the armor? Okay. Fine by me. Oh wait, what? No, oh, here we go. Okay, you can take that one. No, E. I always try to tab out of that, but it doesn't work. Crates, cows, leaf blower. I know. I guess I'm just waiting for him to max out, then I'll go- <laughs> I'll move back over to Rex. I took your stuff, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Alright, now we're going this way. Whee! Oops. Don't want to go backwards. Thank you, me. It's very much appreciated. <laughs> Radiated. Oh, the rocket launcher, huh? I have heard of that. Hmm. There's probably other leaf blowers around, right? I don't have to double back and get it. Jump. Jump. Hey, look. More random people. Who are you? Kim addict. Okay. Another Kim addict. I hear the NCR is bringing in elite troops. Okay. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Don't ask because I don't know. You realize you're talking to a dog, right? Grim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gang. Okay, cool. And I'll come back to that, because I would like the rocket launcher. Sounds quite fun. What's over here? Jump. Yep, that's what my friends were saying. So I was like, hmm. That sounds useful and hilarious. Gang. Ooh, missiles. Toy box? Okay. Mm. What you barking at? Empty, empty. Ah, cool. Okay. Yes, yes, nope. Camera. Nope. Okay, it's just doing the same thing. Alright. Here's another person. Jump. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Well, I, I guess I'll get there eventually. <laughs> I don't know if I have the ability to do that yet.
Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Yay, me. Okay, I don't think I'm up to 50 yet, so I guess I need to concentrate on that one the next time I, uh... can... rank up, I guess. Oh, lordy lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory, and you're as good as mincemeat. Hmm. There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Really? Uh, should I wager, or should I not? Bleh. I don't remember what my luck is set up. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I... I guess I will. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. That's not a wager. Back alive, I'll double your money. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Should I do? Put more caps. Eh, I guess so. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Fantastic. Okay. Um... Guess miscellaneous. No? Data? Yeah, here we go. The key to avoiding the artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of town, toward the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings, then make a beeline for the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick to the fence until you make it to the gate. Also, I know there is an old train tunnel that enters the area from the south, but no one has ever come back out of there to stay. No one has ever come back out of there to say it is safe. Okay. That is true. Ah, uh, sigh. Okay. We'll see how this goes. Hmm. Yeah, that probably would have been nice. Hmm. Just hug the left side of the mountain. Where's that coming from? Right, F5. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. 
I can't go any further forward. Really? Really? Uh, okay. Hmm. Uh. Oh god. Well, I'm stuck. Yep. Alright. Oh good, there we go. I was a little concerned there. Okay, uh, just keep running towards the main gate while hugging the mountain. From which side? Just over here? Hey, who are you? Hello. You should get out of my face before you get yourself hurt. What are you doing over here? Hmm. Can I take your clothes? And I could hide. They wouldn't shoot me then. If I kill him, would that work? Of course, the AI system would probably be like, points against you for killing the guy. Uh. And I don't want them to be pissed off at me. Hmm. Fine. You're off the hook for now. Next time, though. Weren't they not going to do that? Does the game just do whatever it feels like anyway? <laughs> what? Ah, <sighs> okay. Hmm. Alright. Not going well. Oh, dead. <laughs> okay.
It's okay. I wish I could see their bombs. Not until the very last minute I can see the missile. See here, items. Oh no, aid. Dim pack. There you two are. <laughs> um, looks like they're celebrating the fourth long into the future, even after the U.S. doesn't exist anymore. Hold it right there! Don't you move! How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Okay, fence. Mm. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Then just... just stay where you are. <laughs> Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, but I wasn't given the option for the truth. I oversee the security Oops, of sorry. the Nellis Homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. I like how I'm talking to the back of Boone's head. <laughs> yeah, probably the less going to die sort of way, but you know, whatever. Mm. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think Thank you. our guns can <laughs> keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Thank you, back of Boone's head. You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. 
All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. If you can't keep that thing under control, I will. I'd like to see who I was talking to. Ah, oh, I see. Hmm. Let's just blow everything up. Hmm. Okay, what's over this way? Headset. Why does it make my head itch so much? I don't understand. Ah. Hello. You're the guy I was talking to earlier, and considered killing. Okay. Where am I looking then? That up. No, world map. There we go. Jump, jump, jump. Um, yes, from, well, on hardcore, yes, the hard difficulty, the regular settings, I don't think so, but the, uh, that extra, yeah, let's make everything super hard, then yeah, they die there, from what I understand. Okay, I guess none of them. Bark, bark, bark. Hmm. You maybe? Yes, Mother come back. Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Yeah, yeah. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. She's a bitch. Ah, I see. Well, I've gotten used to them going unconscious all the time and then coming back, so I guess it doesn't bother me. <laughs> um. Don't get my hopes up. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there, or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Seemed to work out pretty well, I think. So far. Hmm.
Nellis hangers. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? Loyal's a great man, but he's getting on in years. So a younger's gotta learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. If you help him recover the lady, I figure... Oh, I figure it's been a nice day. Yeah, a real nice day. Did I say that? Sometimes I just say stupid things. Sorry about that. Pearl will tell you when the time comes. If... I mean... I should really be going. Okay. Twitch is definitely becoming more and more popular. I just hope they can keep up with its development. Hmm. Seems like it's having a lot more technical issues lately. Stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Eh. <laughs> Me? I'm Pete, keeper of the story. I know I seem kind of young. I was the apprentice keeper of the story until a couple months ago. But old keeper Don, well, whiskey and landmines don't go together. So it's up to me. I bet you want to know everything about us. Yeah, I should, uh, I should get that fixed at some point. <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot of folks. Argyle's our doctor. He oh, can there's a snow globe? Any injured I'll have to grab that. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Okay. 
Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here are <laughs> any yeah, not very fitting, is it? Before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us, or you're a savage. But, anyways... <laughs> Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here. Um... It taught us where to find one. It does ring a bell, so it very well could be, but I'm not sure. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Okay. Hmm. Snow globe. So long. Ellis AFB. Take. You found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. It's all right. I understand. Even as an Air Force brat, I don't know about every military base on the uh, in the country. Uh, let's see. Here. This one. Once a Republican, always a Republican. Okay. Um, I don't know. But I don't have it either, so I can't really speak for it. I wouldn't mind trying it. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. <laughs> if that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Ha! Huh. If we had spare parts, do you think I'd be asking you to fix the damn things? That's rich. No, we ran out of spares a while back. And Jack and I have been doing our best to patch the arrays up as best we can. Sadly, we're at our wit's end. There have to be spare parts somewhere around the wasteland, but I just don't know where to direct you. You may have noticed we don't get out much. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. Hello, Ryan. I'm all right. How are you? We need to get the array back up and charging. <laughs> well, uh... Checking out the game will depend on uh, when I can buy it. Or if someone gives it to me, so there's that. <laughs> I'm okay. Another day in life. How has your day been? I am, yes. I'm making lots of progress. Yay, me. Alright, what's on your mind? Hmm. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Hot damn, you're right! It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. <laughs> so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Okay. What is it, outsider? Oh, all right. Guess the Good other line. thing is not going to happen. Rivers swimming in England. Like, across the channel? How did that go? I have not done much. 
It was the 4th of July over the weekend, but uh, I slept through most of the day. So, hmm. Alright. What should we go toward now? Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Ask away. So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Uh, that is America's Independence Day. The Declaration of Independence was signed to declare ourselves a independent country from England. Look at that later. <laughs> and at Nellis, we found it. We haven't detonated any atomic warheads since before I was born. But otherwise, it's do as you will. Anything else you want to know? Several automatic warheads detonate here a hundred years ago. Automatic? Leaving the base highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Okay. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a salve. An outsider. Anything else you want to know? Um, not for a while. <laughs> they weren't too pleased about that. Um, no. It's, it's about when we said that we're independent. Not England. England didn't agree to it for a while. You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base, with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, apparently the 29th of its kind, crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, that's very unfortunate. Yes. In fact, that's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. Anything else you want to know? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, Zion. I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. That'd be a game within a game. Hmm, well, maybe. 
Hmm. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? Well, I, uh, I hope that goes well for you and those who attend. Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. <laughs> You're all cannibals. Oh, God. Hmm. Thank you. Our self-sufficiency is a point of pride. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. See ya. Accepted. Folks have come to accept you for your help helpful nature. Okay. Um, hmm. Well. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider, but I have patience to tend to. Um, that kid that did the Fred movies, too? His voice is really fucking annoying. I, I know it's just part of the character that he's doing for that, but I, I can't sit through that. I, yeah, I can't focus on whatever he's trying to portray as the story of the episode or whatever, the skit. I find him too irritating to get any further. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? I assume the ants tubular nasties pierced the patient's anterior chaxis. <laughs> really? If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Yep. Medicine 50 or higher required. And I'm at what again? Mm. Let's see, tab. That's. Medicine. 45. Okay, so. My next level up, then I'll be able to do it. We'll come back.
if you can't keep that thing under control, I will. What's the situation with the giant ants? It's not in progress if you're up here talking to me. Get it taken care of. Whatever. Okay. Um... That is quite sweet of you, thank you. Yeah, that would be really annoying. This is a restricted area. State your business. Exactly overflowing with troopers here. But if you really want to help us, talk to the idiot with sunglasses in the back of the plant building. He's been trying to get this place running for months and hasn't made any forward progress. There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1 maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. Jerk-offs. Perhaps so. Later. I know, it's like, is that really a good idea? Really? Small burned book. Ah, uh, it's the fan. Yep. Yet another hot day. Wow. Maybe. Doubtful, but maybe. Hmm. 
Yep, sorry. Ah, these doors. It would seem so, yes. <laughs> Welcome to PosidonNet. On Tuesday, February 16 at 2 p.m., technicians will be running a test of Archimedes and its connectivity with our plant security system. Under no circumstances should any employee be outdoors on the plant grounds until the alarm klaxon has ceased and an all clear is given. We have death and dismemberment waivers from all employees on files on file and are not responsible for any accidents that should occur during this procedure. Protective eyewear is mandatory for all technicians observing from the tower deck. <laughs> the initial testing of Archimedes was a success, though not an unqualified one. Several minor systems were overloaded despite all precautions taken, and the two and a half minutes of downtime following the test is something we can work on improving. More importantly, we received reports from nearby facilities that they experienced system frying power fluctuations at the time of the test, notably the Black Mountain Communications Array and the military bunkers at Hidden Valley. We're going to make it a priority next time to prevent such collateral damage. Brigade General Scott Lowe of the U.S. Army will be visiting, visiting the facility starting next Monday and staying on site indefinitely. When Archimedes goes live, he will be the only person here allowed to authorize its use for anything other than a test. Civilian employees are not required to salute, but it is expected of everyone that you observe thorough grooming and hygiene regimens and dress neatly while the general is... Oh. Did I say general or did I say something else? Anyway, as uh, with us, the general expects the best from all his men, and the Poseidon men should be no different in the pr in the presence of such a fine and decorated soldier. Fantastic. <laughs> you don't like Archimedes? <laughs> hmm, I see. Poseidon Energy Publication for New Employees. As a member of the Poseidon family, it will be natural for you to become enthusiastic about the incredible endeavors you'll be undertaking with us and to want to tell others. Just a second there, my good man. Let's take a minute to consider what could happen if company information fell into the wrong hands and whose hands those might be. Can I tell my wife? Well, let's say you do. You tell her not to tell anyone. Your bond is sacred. But a woman's idle tongue is the devil's plaything. Seriously. No sooner do you leave for work the next day than she's on the phone telling your best friend Candy. Then Candy tells Gertie. Gertie tells Maxine. Maxine tells Lulu. And while Lulu is telling Doris, a Chinese agent posing as an American operator listens in. The next thing, she's on the line with the Forbidden City singing like a treasonous canary. The following day, you and your wife are bound in shackles and China is sitting at the controls of our entire arsenal. Wow, really? Can I tell my children? What father wouldn't want his kids to look up to him? Don't be that father. <laughs> wow. One day at school, Ivan Bolikov will get more than lunch money out of your kids. They'll have national secrets, and while they're parading him through Red Square as a national hero, your children will be working in forced labor camps right next to you and your beautiful young wife, who is now wrinkled and homely since the communists have banned makeup because it expresses individuality. What is with this thing? Oh, hello, Cryptic. How are you today? For a dollar every time I said what? Uh, can I tell my drinking buddies? Surely if there's somewhere safe a man can place his trust, it is with his other male friends. Really? <sighs> okay. But how much do you really know about them? Are they friends or comrades? Don't be too sure. Even the most transparent window can hide secrets when it's lined with iron curtains. <laughs> Man, such propaganda. Yeesh. I'm alright. Just playing through some more New Vegas fun stuff. 
My head is really itching because of this headset. Always remember, you're a member of two families now. You have obligations to both. But your obligation to the Poseidon family is greater. Because while your children may be misbehave and your friends may change and your wife may nag and cheat on you, really, Poseidon Energy will always be paying for and protecting your way of life. Don't tell anybody about anything about the projects at Poseidon Energy. When pressed, tell them that your job is repetitive and not worth discussing. The company is nurturing and gives good benefits, and it's always looking for new talent. Wow, okay. I am. It is quite fun. Hmm. Me, Rex. Mm -hmm. Nice. I haven't really played any any of the other Fallout, so I don't. Uh, I can't say much about the rest of them. Well, you'd probably have about one dollar. I don't think that's something I say often. Oh, I'm stuck. Help, help. Why does that always happen? Stupid doors. Alright. Loud, complicated door. Examine the room thoroughly. Which room? The room that I was looking at the computer? Or this room? Okay, this, this thing is driving me crazy. Hold on. There we go. If you say so. Eh. I'm sure I'll be back. It's fine. Indeed. Instead of just being stuck in the same place all the time. So clink! <laughs> Let's see, how do I... How do I get in there? Ugh. What are you shooting at? Oh. Okay. Uh, it's been like that. In fact, it used to be hot pink over a year and a half ago, and I just haven't re dyed it. So, it uh, transitions from my natural hair color down into this pink orange color that the remnants of the hot pink. Someday I'll re dye it to the hot pink, but uh, it's going to be a while. Well, I'll probably go back to the room in a bit. It's fine. Nope. 
Can't jump over. <laughs> nice. Yay for unnatural colors. Are you doing like bright red or more of a natural red? Because bright red is way cooler. <laughs> um, I have toyed with the idea of bleaching it entirely to white. But, uh, I wouldn't be doing that anytime soon if I did do that. Bright red? Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Much appreciated. <laughs> How do I get in this place? Ah. Must be a back door that I missed. Nice. I don't know if I could do bright green. I like green, I just don't know how that would look on me. However, I would also like to do blue. Several years ago I did actually have all of my hair dyed blue, but my hair was a lot shorter then too, so. But it was an awesome blue, because it looked like I was standing under a black light 24-7. It was pretty badass. <laughs> Whee. How do I get out of here? Mm. Here's a door. Is this what I'm looking for? This one? I don't think I went through these doors. Small burned book. Box of detergent. Okay. That's empty. Hello. Saying hello. Um. Okay. Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? Calm down. Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. <laughs> no one else can do what I, I see. do here. Alright, we'll see you next time, Leo. Thanks for joining. What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats, and it feels so good. Sure about that? Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right, so we're running at 1% efficiency. And I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. And that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? Not really, but okay. It was easy, man. They were going door to door asking if anyone knew any scientists. I said look no further. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said welcome aboard. Oh my god. This guy's an idiot. Or at least a... 
somewhat sad but apparently effective con man. There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about going up there, are you? Well, you're not doing anything. Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. Talk to the idiot wearing sunglasses. Strip and McCarran. Because I get paid, that's why. Per kilowatt hour. Whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper. There's a reputation you can hang your hat on. Hmm. Oh, joy. Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons, I turn dials, I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Like one time I imagined they were a code to get into a vault full of naked women. Man, how cool would that be? No, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. Over there controls power in this building. That station has readouts on the computer network. That big knob there makes a crazy noise. Uh, sparks come out of that slot if you put stuff in it. And I'm learning more every day. I hate him. I hate this guy. Just... <sighs> Here. you want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. I found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. You are a goddamn idiot. All right, let's let's go do useful things. Hello. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Interesting. Forgive me for prying, but I'm curious. Are you with a particular group? That's reassuring, although many who have made that claim to the followers of the Apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. But if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Take care of what you do here, and who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. Mm -hmm. I was sent here when we saw that the NCR had taken it. Oops. We have no record of the facility, but its original builders were cause for concern. I'm to determine the threat level of this place and do everything in my power to prevent the revival of any dangerous pre-war technology. The NCR let me stay because they are desperate for answers about this place, but I've kept them in the dark. Hmm. I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. Yes, and the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. Alright, we'll see you next time, Locked. And yes, I have made note of it, and hopefully I will be able to catch your stream. Have a good week, or whenever I see you next. Clink! <laughs>
By some miracle, they've hired an imbecile to try and decipher the systems here. He spent months working at one console trying to get the solar reflectors to track the sun. What he doesn't know is that the only thing the console controls is the plant's intercom system. I tried to tell him, but he insisted that the largest console had to be the most important. Still, it's only a matter of time. Wow. Guy really is an idiot. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Huh? Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt. But resist the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. I'm a man of letters. I'd be torn to pieces by the security system they have in that tower. I'd never reach the mainframe. But eventually, the NCR will. Or if not them, Caesar's Legion. They will use this place for war. Because the possibility exists, you might do anything else. You're the only choice I have. Fair enough. Humanity lost many things after the war. Methods of agriculture, techniques for survival. We took it upon ourselves to piece together this knowledge and bring it back to them. Other things weren't lost, but were blocked from our collective memory. Knowledge of what we're capable of and how things spiral out of control. It's in our nature to want to forget truths that keep us awake at night. And for that reason, it's all the more important that the followers walk the ways to remind people of them. We're scattered mostly. We go where we're needed. Our largest presence is in Freeside at Old Mormon Fort. Other than that, I know Dr. Usanagi set up a practice near the Crimson Caravan, and a man we train is operating out of the Aerotech building. Another man, Tom Anderson, was looking into water supply problems in Westside, but that was a while ago. Let's see, hold on. Iggy is having me look in this email. Well, he wants me to reply to it. Thursday spot. Crap. Okay, um. Sorry, I need to reply to this. <sighs> right. Come on, go. Oh, let's, like, actually smell, spell, not smell, spell the company name correctly. 
Okay. There we go. Close that. Sorry. You heard my mentioning earlier about uh, convention with a company with a similar game to ours. Apparently another indie booth was interested in possibly switching, so... We did for a time, but our goals differ. The NCR only cares to expand their wealth and their reach. For us, territory boundaries mean nothing. And prosperity has to be for everyone, not just citizens of the NCR. So parting was inevitable. While the NCR pushes east, we clean up the mess they leave behind. Try to provide some stability. Alright. Goodbye. Guy sounds so depressed. Now, how do I get up into the tower? Whoops. That apparently. Medical clipboard. Okay, I guess I found another landmine. I will try my best not to mess it up. Okay. Center status stores beaten, looted, sucker, blades, static crates. What? Oops. Oh well. Should be fine. 
Okay, so let's see. <laughs> oh, hey, well, yay me. Warning, no targeting data. Please exercise caution, okay? Okay. Some information. Hmm. All right. Landmines, man. Why am I so bad at them? It's just sad. Programmer's Digest. Oops. Paint gun scrap electronics. Five bottle caps. No hostels here. All checks out. Ashtray. I do not want an ashtray. Dust pack of cigarettes. Mr. Gutsy. I'll take both of those. <laughs> of course! You never know when you need to paint something really quickly. Oops. Gators! Hello, Fluffy. Over encumbered, of course. As always. Okay, baby cat. Let's back up. There you go. <laughs> yep. Like, oh, this place looks like. Well, it looks like shit. I need to redecorate. Paint everything. Come here, Boone. I need you to carry stuff. 
Rex, run the way. Okay. Carry things. Fine by me. Little scared. <laughs> yep. The little fluff and stuff finally decided to come over and say hi. And if I give him a mine, will he step on it? Or put it someplace where I will? Probably. Um. Has to see what's going on. Cindy grenade. Hunting rifle. Um, I'll give you that. Dynamite. Uh, hold on to that. Um, I'll give you both of those. Okay. Grand. Yet, stop holding the cord down. Stop. Aww. Poor bunnies. They don't know it's gonna eat me. No, I don't want to eat you, bunny. Insta mash. Mm. Delicious. Yay! Hey, bottle caps, pre war money. There we go. Hmm. Ah, probably. Bunnies do like eating clover. <laughs> Little fluffy bunnies. They're adorable. Isn't that right, Skit? Says, no, I would rather eat the bunnies. That's horrible. Don't eat the bunnies. Yeah. No tiny kitty licks. No. No kitty licks. I was hoping he wouldn't try to kill me. I was wrong. Alright, good job everyone. Let us continue. Hey, missiles. Exit. Case. Angry Rex. dog. So, what was with that robot? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay. That is fascinating. Pack of cigarettes. Coffee mug. More cigarettes. Oh, yeah, ball caps. Finance clipboard. More cigarettes. Hey, look, it's a plunger. Sensor module. Finally found one. Hmm. Oh, wait, I should go back down. Ah. 
Um, because burning things and blowing things up is the American way. <laughs> as well as shooting things, right? That's that's how this works. Marka. <laughs> See here. Commencing attack on hostile target. Do not what? be alarmed. Order will be restored soon. Please stand by. What is talking? Something below us? Keep looking. False alarm. Standing down. What? Where's that coming from? It's weird. Nope. Over here. Oh, I guess something down in the hallway. Okay then. Whoops. So I guess Rex ran off somewhere and killed something. That appears to be the case. At 4C, hoarding lots and lots of either, some of everything of these. Well, I guess you never know when you need those things either, so... It's your gutsy. Take that, and that. Exit. Okay. Filing cabinet. Empty. Clipboard, sunset, sarsaparilla. Exit. Got an alchemy lab here. You can take a pencil. I don't need to write though. Uh -huh. Alright. Where did you go, Rex, that you mutilated a bunch of robots? Ah. Gisel. Transporter pad? Seems not. Why is there a laser at the bottom? Strange. I don't know if I really need these energy cells, but uh, just in case. Okay. Go back down here. This looks suspiciously like a Bioshock trash can. Skit. Can't see. Kitty, I can't see. Come on, move. <laughs> I do believe so. Squee! Squee! Wah! Okay. Yeah, but I don't think Bethesda worked on Bioshock. I don't think so. I know, isn't she, though? <sighs> hmm. Like, hey, pay attention to me! Nuka Cola, purified water. 
Egg fresh apple. I don't know if I trust that. Not be thought. Buffalo gourd seeds, some scorched books. Oops. There's another plunger. Carton of cigarettes. Okay, okay empty. <laughs> you think so? I just don't know if I trust it. Fresh apple. Or like suspicious apple. Is there something special about the fresh apple? Poseidon energy. Alright. What shall we do now? Hmm. Wow. Going places, seeing things. Do I really need the plungers? Really? Okay, I read that already. Um. I don't know. Is it not an edible thing? Well. I assume I'm supposed to be doing something, but I don't know what. Can you make foodstuffs? Oh, that's local map. There we go. Um. Okay. Guess we're done in here. what happens when I accidentally click a button. Oops. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guess I'll just go this way. Sure? Sure what? Prepare 20 or higher. Let's see. Look to your panels on this array of damage. You could salvage some of the erased parts. How high is my. Oh. I guess a couple minutes. Well, there's peanut butter crackers. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Prepare 40, okay. <laughs> that is a uh, valid point. Okay. 
What are you after, Rex? Oh, ants? We'll come back to that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh! Go. Okay. Very angry dog. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It'll be fun though whenever I get to that point. Can't walk between them, apparently. All right. Hmm. There's a computer in there. This chain link fence perimeter is worthless. We might as well be defending a cage from the inside. Oh, look! Bear traps. And a cord. Remorse. I totally saw it coming, and yet it still made me jump. It'll blow up the computer. Aha! Oh, something else got shot. Oh, okay. I will grab a wrench then. Uh, reset mainframe connection. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, saw that one already. Okay. I don't want to activate it, I would just like to take it. Alright. Hmm. Need to find another toolbox, the wrench. Here's a toolbox. One wrench. Alright. Can't run from me. Okay then.
wipe out all nearby NCR soldiers. Uh, I don't think I need to do that just yet. Okay. All right. Now where? That uh. Gold map. Zoom out. Where's this going? Okay. Rest. Yeah, it doesn't really make much sense, but oh well. Do I need the dog meat? Down here. Nope, not here. I looked in there already. Oh, I see. This mainframe is currently unresponsive. The amount of power reaching the terminal seems to be insufficient. Hey, bottle caps. Open desk. More bottle caps. Oh, empty. Okay, well. I believe I will pause here for the day, or stop here for the day, as the mother unit would like to go acquire food. So uh, let's see, tomorrow is Wednesday. We plan to be doing testing on our card game, so should be doing that tomorrow, unless something comes up, so we can't. Um, then of course Thursday I'm going to have to move my Thriller Thursday stream to earlier in the morning as I will be busy that afternoon and that evening so there's that. Alright have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.